Right, well, that was an interesting bus ride. Uh, Gotta talk about the Twilight Zone. I'm drunk off his ass already. It's fucking five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, all right. Well, pretty much. Might as well give you a lowdown on what I'm doing right here. I'm actually going down. Uh, check out the Stardust since it is closing on the first of November. So pretty much this was the last day I could do it because I worked the next four days. Damn. And then I leave town on the first. So obviously it was either today or never, and I've never been there. So uh, let's might as well uh, check it out. And well, here we are actually. There's the revolving sign. Get this open. And the revolving sign. That's not actually the famous portion of that. The famous portion is actually that right there. But we'll get close to that soon enough. Might as well do a trip around the outside, get a good look at the place on the outside, because we're going to try to get a good look at the place on the inside as well, if they'll allow it. There's the sports book. This is the garden area. And there's a better look at the sign right there. Pretty much is it right there. They're actually trying to preserve that particular portion of this area considering it's uh, one of the oldest electric signs on the strip as far as I know. It's been with the casino since I believe the early 60s. But, yeah. Casino entrance right there. And when I curve back around, I'll pop back on. And supposedly this is the most successful daytime show in Vegas history. Uh, I have no clue of being able to even fucking give you the real scoop on that. I don't do Vegas shows that much. Huh, there we go. Little water fountains. It's a nice touch. Took like they fire back and forth. There you go. That's cool. Nice touch. Don't know how long it's been here though. Glow of the light that's actually coming back over off of that sign, as you can see. Um, I don't really get a good look at that, considering the clock. That's uh, I think one of those. Here's one of the new buildings they're doing. One of the new uh, condominium buildings. And there's the entrance. Like I said I'm not quite sure how well they're going to let me. Go off. Ah, stand back. There it is. It is quite an impressive sign. It's kind of a sad part. This is why I'm down here, mainly because I'm kind of a proponent against uh, against uh, tearing down old buildings for the most part. Um, considering this town usually has so much history going for it, you know this this particular place here, the Stardust, has only has been here actually since uh, 1958, which, you know, especially all this, it's been open almost 50 years. Why they're tearing it down? Because boy gaming is assholes, probably? I don't know. Um, actually, they're making room for uh, a brand new hotel, brand new casino, I believe, in here. It's going to be a, a rather large property by the looks of things. But at the same time, this place has been here. This is this is Vegas history, and especially this town has a really bad habit of tearing its history down, which uh, 
it's kind of disgusting actually in my opinion is that a lot of these places usually aren't open that long and they get torn down and there's nothing left usually and especially for future generations that are interested in the history of this town uh, there's nothing left you can't see anything there's nothing there's nothing tangible uh, which is why I'm doing this is at least while I'm upon my first visit you know I at least will have something tangible to show off and something to remember by so I think that's pretty cool so hopefully if I can do some shit inside we'll see There's a pretty good look at the uh, hotel portion. That's the building I most associate with this place, especially since I've passed it by quite a few times. Um, it's a good looking building now. It's gonna split down the center. It's like older stuff. I don't know what this was, it's supposed to be a lounge, but I'll never know. A uh, couple, couple of photos going on here. This is actually in the grand opening in 1958. This is an aerial shot of the casino back in 1970. Yeah, 1970. A little bit smaller, though this place is so far isn't that large. I'm trying not to film in the gaming area since I don't think that's generally considered kosher. Picture from the show Lido de Paris in 1958. Probably not too long after it opened. Possibly could be opening night. And a picture from the Frank Rosenthal show from 1977 with our good friend Frankie Sinatra. Here's a picture from 1967. That would be Debbie Reynolds right there. And a very, very, very young... Yes, folks, that's Chuck Norris. 1967. This man is old. <laughs> Don't tell him that. He might punch your face. This right here is the Northern... Actually, sorry. National Arabian Horse Show from 1968. And the Stardust Horseman's Park. I don't think this has existed for a while. It's a beautiful horse, though. So this is Andy Williams, famous golfer Andy Williams, from Memorial Golf Tournament and Stardust Golf Club in 1968. I don't think that exists anymore either. And nah. Nalani Kelly from the Polynesian Review from 1970. Not a whole lot going on those stages, man. It's smaller than the stage in the House of Blues. Good lord. Here from 1970, a very young looking Siegfried and Roy when they used to actually perform here at the Stardust back in the 1970s. And once again, the Lido de Paris girls from 1970 as well. Not the best looking women, but what are you going to do? This is the Copper Center Ballroom and Pavilion seating area. Let's see if I can get you a good shot of that. shining off since it's a uh, sun setting behind me in the west. It's actually starting to shine off the uh, some of the mirrors and different things to actually cast a really nice glow in here that um, I don't think the film can really capture very well. Actually sitting in here, the lighting's kind of low level, uh, but it looks fantastic. It's nice and quiet. People going in and out since we're also near the elevators for the, the uh, hotel. So let's see if I can get another good shot. Over there. 
just see it off in the distance right there, the sun coming in. Nice little mood piece. It's probably my favorite area so far. Since there's nothing really special about the gaming area. Small. If you've been in the uh, Circus Circus, it's just as small. Although I think the Circus Circus covers more ground, but I think it's a lot newer. I did a check on that. Don't <laughs> don't quote me on it. Um, so yeah, there's nothing really uh, worth filming around there. More pictures in the area, but uh, I think I'll. Well, I might capture most of those. Why not? I got nothing better to do.